What's going on folks? How are you? I hope everyone is doing well. What are we doing today? Today, I'm going to show you a really, really exciting attack. That's right, one of the attacks that requires a whole bunch of clones. Today, we're going to do 260, 260 goblins with clone spells. That's right. Some of you may have seen the other video where I have 260 barbarians with clone spells and how it works really well. Well, today, we're going to test out and do some live hits right here in the video with 260 goblins goblins and all clone spells and all of that's getting started right now Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Captain Nemo. Welcome to another farming video. Today, like I said, we're going to be doing some goblin attacks. And not a goblin knife or anything like that. Today, we're doing a clone goblin attack. We're going to try it out, see if it works. This attack is actually pretty cool. It's pretty exciting, so I wanted to bring it to you. Now, I've done this once or twice before, but I'm not a professional at it. So today, we're going to check it out and see how it works. I'm going to make a live hits right here in the video for you. Before we get started, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, Make sure to come on down to my Twitter and my Discord. We have a lot of exciting stuff going on there. You don't want to miss out. Definitely want to do that. So, let's see. What is this army? Check it out. It's 260 Max, Max Goblins. That's right. And we have three clone spells of rage. We have a wall wrecker with giants in there. That's a really good one to use. I... I suggest you use that. I mean, honestly, you could use whatever you want, but that's just a really good one. Plus, with the wall record, it breaks through the base and gives us some, some action that way. And then we bring a heal with us, just in case, for heroes, barbarians, who, barbarians, for uh, clones, but realistically, those that heal is for the giants. To so make sure that the seven, seven giants keep kind of pushing through as the goblins are behind. So let's check it out. Let's see what we do right here. Now, I am in masters with Captain Nemo with my 11 account, so it might be a little tough because, you know, most people probably have a decent basis in master i mean this is probably better for gold i mean it's a lot of fun though that's what i like about these attacks i love doing these types of attacks where i can have like a lot of fun exciting stuff like trying to see if i can clone 260 barbarians <laughs> can i clone 260 barbarians we're about to find out Let's see. So we're looking for, obviously, a Town Hall 11 base. I'm not going to be hitting a Town Hall 10, right? And I'm really not going to be hitting a 12 either. This is going to be a Town Hall 11 base. I'm looking for something decent, maybe not too strong, but at the same time, I don't care. I'm just trying to farm. So another thing I want to do, even though I don't need farming, I'm actually, this is a farming video where I want to show you that you can farm with that many goblins and clone spells. But I'm going to show it to you in a higher league, so obviously this will work in lower league. But we're going to try to figure out what we want to take out, right? I mean, the idea is we're going to make sure that we go for specific resources here. Do we want to take... Ooh, that was a dead base. Do we want to take out some elixir, some dark elixir? Do we need gold? Do we need everything? Are we just going to hit the base like there's no tomorrow and see what happens? I think that's going to be actually the case. But let's see. There's some upgrading here, so it might not be the best base, but it's got pretty good loot. Pretty good loot. We could come in here right from center. Like run a wall record right into that thing and just jump in and rage go nuts here with the barbarians. But that was the barbarians with the with the uh with the goblins, huh? But hmm. Let's see. We got ooh. Got expos on the outside and the eagle artillery on the outside. That's weird. Why would you be doing that? Because you're upgrading? Because you just got the town hall 13? Town Hall 13, Town Hall 11. What is wrong with me today? Uh, this coronavirus, man. Are you guys staying safe and sound at home? Not going anywhere? I'm from New York. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I like it. Let's do it. We're going to go for the Dark Elixir here, obviously. So, let's see. This is what I like to do here. We're going to send in the queen right from here. We're going to send in the king right from here. And then I wait. They bring a poison with me. Once they go in, we're going to wall record it right in the center. Do a little queen on queen action. So we take the enemy queen out. Uh-oh. 
And then we send in the goblin. Then we rage. And then we heal everything. And then we send in more goblins and Then we'll send in the rest of the goblins on the side. That didn't go well because I actually did not send all of the goblins in the right place. As you can see, they really can't chew through walls and take out all of the elixir and dark elixir that we need. But I kind of wanted to go for the I wanted to go for the dark elixir, but I forgot to deploy like 190 goblins. So we're gonna have to do this again. But take a look, resources gone. These as long as you keep them away from the wizard towers, they're good to go. Look, they went right around and cleaned up pretty much everything. How much was it was there in the base to start with as you can see pretty much all the resources are gone i'm gonna run it two more times because this one doesn't count this one doesn't count i forgot to deploy the deploy the rest of the goblins let's just do this one more time and see what happens all right here we go attack number two i didn't change a few little things around here just to show you that the other the attacks that i'm going to do here i'm going to give you different spell combinations so you can kind of see how they work of course we dropped one one clone spell here and we got two extra freezes for some multi infernos and wizard towers and then we also have a poison for the clan castle that's a good thing to use so uh that is a good combination that we're going to try right now so let's get going let's check out the second goblin attack what am i trying to do here i am trying to make sure that we have a good base here to get into this type of a situation now this could actually work for us as well so why don't we start right here with the first one the first one so we're gonna do we're gonna do this we're gonna do a king right here a queen right behind we're gonna go right with a wall wrecker and then once the wizard tower right here is kind of busy so to speak we're gonna send in our goblin action We're gonna rage and then heal right in the middle. I dropped the wrong spell, so that poison that actually that freeze spell is completely and absolutely wasted. You forgetting that I can't double. Look at these goblins, they're just annihilating, they're taking everything. That's good. The queen's gonna get through this side and we're gonna be able to pull in pretty much all of the resources. Now, a few little errors I made here as well. If you notice that I got two hands, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to like double tap or at least triple tap to try to get the more goblins out because one of the problems with this attack is that you just can't get enough of the goblins out there. There's 260 of them. So you gotta just like throw like five finger deploy them if you can. So that's a little bit of an issue and actually dropped a free spell in the wrong place. So I can't deploy him fast enough. So it might be a good idea to double deploy them once you get set. But as you notice, once they get in with the clones and everything inside of there with the rages and the heals and you got the Grand Warden ability and still the heroes going, you can just chop through all of the resources. There's just um, not enough time for the for everybody to be able to respond fast enough to the goblins to protect the resources And that's what they do. You have a small little tank in the front of uh, Giants and a wall wrecker. You have a couple of heroes behind you save the Grand Warden obviously for when everything meets and then you just slam in there you can also use the you can use a clone spell on the giants in the front and then the the barbarians behind as well. So one of the giants, one of the barbarians, and then rage everything in the middle. That'll work as well because it'll create extra giants. Those uh, there's gonna clone extra giants, so that's gonna be really good. Either way, as you notice, this is like a really really awesome and fun attack, and you can pull in all of the resources that you want out of the base without really having to do much. This is just crazy, super fun. All right, here we are. Let's do this one more time. One more time, we're gonna do this, and then afterwards, I'm going back to my to my other farming attack. So I wanted to show you 
how awesome this goblin army is. I'm actually a lot of fun doing it, right? It's really, really OP. I think the idea here is you got to make sure that you deploy all your goblins. It's just really difficult. So five finger deployment might be key here. That might be what you need to do here. Ah, so let's see. This is a town called 13. So that's probably, well, it's not really a town. Hall. There's a really weird base. Let's find a good one here and then hit it again with our goblin army. That's right. With our mass goblin army with, ooh, okay. That's a lot of loot. Let's do this one. This works. Okay, I'm gonna come in on the dark elixir side, even though we got a, a single inferno right here. Maybe I'll come in on this side. Okay, that'll work. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna break the funnel. There. Break the funnel right here. Have our queen go, uh, our king go this way, and then we're gonna start our. I'm a five finger deploying this. Raise this and then clone clone and then continually deploy more goblins so they get through. Freeze that section right there and then send in the rest of the goblins up top. Try to get that out. Gonna get as much loot as we possibly can here. Pop the queen, get all the dark elixir out. Freeze this queen just in case. <laughs> we take out 50% uh, of the base and all of the dark elixir and all of the most of the loot that we wanted to. So that was the key here, right? I went for that dark elixir. I tried to smash it in, but as you notice, you can really overwhelm the base. Look, his, his eagle artillery ran out of juice. That's crazy. What else is, what else do we have? Why are we still moving? Are there any goblins around? There's one little archer. Look at him. Her. She's right there beating through the wall. Unfortunately, she's going to end up dying so we can, <laughs> we can end this battle. But as you, as you can see, I was able to get all of that loot, all of that dark elixir with just straight up goblins. And of course, my clone spells really, really awesome attack. A lot of fun to run. I hope you enjoy it. Ladies and gentlemen, I just showed you a way, three different attacks, how you can run goblins at Town Hall 11 with clone spells and come out like an absolute boss with a whole bunch of loot. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from it. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Come on down to our Twitter and our Discord. You don't want to miss out with all the exciting stuff that we got going on. While you're here, check out this video. This is a really cool one, and I'll see you there.